but not they had to be ordered yeah they were done a contract was done but we know they exist manufactured it will be that like that for it has to be same with bacteria like so all the Moles? places are going to start manufacturing this shit take over quickly algae that's the problem right? it's not no hold on that's the problem it's not quickly Moss? if you were to go to war with russia now right it would take months. Seaweed? I don't know. There's Just maybe even a year or so to get that's not really, manufacturing maybe, that thing going. That's not they really have the capability closer, right or, uh, to do this. Mushrooms as a fungi. So yeah, in the future, you can get production up, but not now. As you stand yeah, now, you're can, not there. Can, I you don't think do our military little... hasn't pondered on this and we just don't give two fucks about it? We're not prepared for possibly Russia coming in and attacking us? I'm pretty sure that they're going to be thinking about different avenues to protect themselves, not just, like, leave themselves open like that. They had different ways. You would think, right? So. But As she's saying that we're not even prepared enough to, like, make our own supplies. I don't know if she's a flat earther or not, I but think that that's probably I think she is the way that they're also, like, interacting with just, her, because they probably would have been making fun of her if she wasn't. Like heard, but I would think that uh, you'd want to float a story like that so <clears> you can, like, flood some funding quickly to what you're trying to do. Or whatever it's like a, a leverage move. you believe it's in the globe <laughs> you, you me, Snag. think about it i don't know how, i don't know how you guys could ever they start laughing like, at you entertain this idea bro <laughs> while you got the world leaders over here fucking holding hands singing and kumbaya and we're just gonna march to our deaths dude for these fucking boneheads dude they're over in antarctica now you're talking you're doing science you're talking. experiments He's They're calling space, scientists boneheads. Sharing information while we're getting all these threats and potential possibilities right. of fucking war and death. Like, come on, guys, wake up. Uh, exactly. You, what this military power you have, you don't need to be uh, uh, used for somebody else's profit, right? Get. You don't need this huge military. Just get the heck out of. Uh, stop supporting these people. They're leading you to war, to ruin. It's that simple. Yeah, on every front, though, on every side, whether it be Russia or China, like it's it's the world's populace, the civilians. Versus Not all of the, them. Uh, the oligarchy. Their site is the route really that the, the, they've other places to, like, in the world than just uh, in America. And, put this whole and they do other projects that are not always related to NASA. Right for what's right, the truth. But isn't that what school's about too? You learn about that shit, right? And they and they enforce it in you. I mean, if you didn't even go to school, you wouldn't have heard anything about all that history and war and bullshit unless your parents told you about that. But to be honest, you'd live a happier life. I'm gonna tell my kids about some crazy ass shit that they don't really need to fucking know about. Not necessarily. If it's harmful. Like we ain't living that life no more. I talk a little bit about it, but honey, that's just it's it sounds like we're being fed a lie every day. And we've just been told a bunch of shit, manipulated along the way. And these people make choices to go to war for reasons that are not necessarily realistic. Because they don't understand what's going on around them because they've been fed so much shit and lies our whole life. It's why we go to war. They have that control over us on a daily basis because of convenience. And these aren't scientists that, that, I'm talk that are talking right now. As government and everything these are just can. ordinary it's, people. It's, it's a whole, how do you change everything? If, if you know what I mean. There's no though. scientists it's here. not just one thing you gotta fix. Well, the people. What you need to do is is just spread the truth out there. What I just said, yeah. like, why would you want to go and die for your for your nation's leader who's <laughs> sending you off, marching you off to your death, while this fucking idiot is corrupt as all hell, and he's he's probably not even direct enemies with whoever you're going to war with. They're probably buddies on the side. Like they meet in privacy. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's so fucking obvious dude I, I just don't understand you know what i mean be no i don't know so what you mean i can understand what you mean or what you're trying to say but i don't like, know yeah, what you mean and kill this other guy you know for my country and like you know I mean? act like that's virtuous yeah, yeah. in some fucking way in the 21st no, century you mean. It's just archaic and barbaric. it's brainwashing that's done to people though huh people don't just grow up like that and live that and think that shit unless someone tells them this stuff and makes them think this way you know what I mean? Or see it, right? It's your family, your environment, whatever, because that's not normal. But we, seen, it is normal now. <laughs> have you seen any of the video uh, the video footage from the Russian Ukraine war? Like, not, no, not lately in a while, honey, at all. I'm, I'm just saying, like, yeah, these, these, are both, I mean, these are human beings on both sides, bro. Like, they, right. they both have feelings. Like, they both have families. Like, they don't necessarily want to be doing what they're doing. They're being forced to do what they're doing 
so when you're fighting for something that you don't really believe in, are you really fighting or are you just kind of putting on a show? Okay, and so I'm always pretty... in force. I mean, my brother was in force. He was told a bunch of bullshit and he did it for money and he was having a child and you think you're building a future for your family and then you get the boot camp and then they, he's like, oh shit, what is this? And, I think and there's like, more the behind it than just that. Everybody. It's like your but mind gets messed with, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it can cause uh, yeah, torture. One second, I got enough. Yeah, okay, hazing all of us. Uh, great. Traumatic, uh, obviously, if if a, if a country is uh, fully yeah, demolished, it, it can cause great devastation. I, I just posted <clears throat> the Chinese missiles, bro, that can sink. Uh, but um, a U.S. aircraft carrier. I just posted the thing. Wars have started uh, because of other reasons, yeah, I believe, I, I just, than, just, than just that. Insane, dude. I think. Uh, I think everybody needs to wake the fuck up, man. And uh, if ever, Putin ever... or Chow Ming or whoever the fuck wants a fucking war, why don't they fucking, why don't they do it themselves? Why don't we set up a fucking UFC match to the death and you two fucking idiots can go in the ring and duke it out and figure it out. But my life, my family's <laughs> life doesn't need to be effective, effective for your fucking profitability. Sorry. Hey, exactly. With, but with Chinese products, right, a lot of times they're over spec. That would be pretty yeah, fucked up. Let's okay, this is one thing I guess that they say that's kind of interesting. Imagine all the world leaders were to fight each other to figure out who was but not this missile. the dominant one. That would be pretty funny. Okay. Chances of that happening is I wish it wasn't true. Very, I wish very it wasn't true. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. But the, uh, the world leaders, you have to see. Like, if, if there was like, <laughs> like, don't you think we're prepared for like, oh yeah, like there's going to be a point where we could like lose the advantage, right? Don't you think that there's like think tanks of people like then people would be out, picking like, people that even for president like, that are more are in better shape though we're, right like, losing pace just so we can like there wouldn't be these pace. old guys all here. Mean, like everywhere i don't know it's it's, it's such a straight out of sun zoo's i don't know make your enemy think weak when you're you're weak when you're strong you have the general go on. Trudeau, TV, say, no. Oh, we're falling apart. Trudeau, you got guys like <laughs> SCB running around eating that shit up. Out of out of yeah, out of all of those guys, I would say that Trudeau yeah, should be I mean, the one yeah, who should win. What? I was trying to say, Jeremy. It Dude, might not be the case, zoo, but he should win. I get that, right? Make He's definitely the younger one. Should be more agile, but I get that, bro. But I don't know. If it's like that, okay, fine, but it doesn't... That's one of those things where I'm just speculating now on who would win, because I, I, right. I, I obviously don't know unless I witness what's happening and when this is happening. Right? In the Ukraine war, right? The Ukrainians go through 20,000 of those uh, howitzer shells, right? Those huge shells. You see those big guns, right? Now, the U.S. right now can only produce 5,000 of them per day so you can't even supply a nation like ukraine enough ammo yeah, but that's what you they understand told you, though i understand that's well, what they okay. told you. Yeah, of course you believe something else but you know, what's true i don't this guy's canadian too sc no montreal he's in montreal i guess uh, maybe they have a whole thing where they could not live close out. to maybe me they got something where they have a building where they could set it up in five minutes you know who knows i like snacks's point though this could be a thing where you know, you have the general come on, you put out some articles. He's saying, only oh, Canadian here right now. And then we look maybe like we're falling off and we're weak. Like, come and again, Jeremy, I don't know. It's kind Do of we weird. I don't, I'm not sure. I think he's American, people. but yeah, because the way he sure, talks about America. Taking over another nation and somehow get that all fucking working. I know this guy's well, American, 100%. Or like you is. Desert Storm, Iraq, Afghanistan. No, all those words work out, bro. You're, you're bro. Right, funky, bro, bro. The broology. You sound far away. Of the bro. Gotta fix your mic, bro. Bro, bro. Mic? We're dealing yes, with the bro. Yes, you fix your mic. You sound very... Your mic's fucked up. That was a good point, Snacks. Good stuff, bro. I didn't even think of that one. What did he say? He said, what if this is all a thing to make us look weak? What, the 5,000 shells a day? An election year, Yeah, dog. just this like, one. Yeah. Go ahead, Snacks. 
I'm just saying it's an election year. Like, like a, a point like this can be used as a political point later. Like, 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 like Trump can come in like, do you see what they're doing in, in, in Ukraine? They can't even afford paper clips. You know what I mean? Like, we need to get the cash in there. You know what I mean? Like, like things like that are bound to happen as a result yeah. of floating information like this. So either you don't say shit like that. If you don't, I don't know. That one guy just says bro all the time, though. Like, and he's Canadian. Shells. And then shit like this will happen. It's like, it's a setup. Just yeah, like, watch, why would you go on it. TV and be like, yeah, we're weak? Like, there's obviously some kind of motive behind that. There was a guy who came in and just said, kept saying this buddy the whole time. Done on TV. You guys never heard of what I'm telling you right now, and you're shocked. No, this is on interviews. I should have taped that one. That one was funny. With these They're retired colonels, uh, the, the weapons inspector guy that did the weapons inspection in Iraq. General Who's the plan? I don't know if you're up. Essie, I don't know if you're up to speed, but the internet is now on the TV. They made these things called. Oh, so you can, so you can have your internet on your TV nowadays, bro. So you think they're gonna go on CNN and tell you we're out, we're out of ammo, right? That ain't gonna happen, bro. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you believe everything? CNN, bro. CNN, bro. Like, like I'm, I'm Come on, off bro. I don't want to insult you or anything, but. Do it, bro. Do it. I got thick skin. Yeah. Do it. NASA's paying me money right now. Check this with I wish. Hold on. <laughs> What's They're CNN giving TV? me money to sit CNN here and TV? make fun of these guys. Is, is, I'm being paid right now. I'm being paid by NASA right now, yeah. Out there, but they're also like for hire to present NASA is paying me money. He's paid for. Yeah, Especially CNN by is. They're not going to put a story that we're running out of ammo. They're giving me $420 or... a that. minute. No. You think that they would run Wolf Blitzer in an hour? Situation? Four hundred and twenty dollars an hour, dude. Shit? Do you think that that occurred? Because it did. You know what I mean? And then they got their funding. That's before this last bit. No way. Uh... Oh, I don't funding. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like this is just like uh, people asking for like, a fucking uh, change in way. Like, That's what uh, I mean. Uh, I'll tell you what CNN uh, is. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, in Noriega. You know what I think? I think war to us is like a military game. That's what I think. I think we're desensitized. And I think, God forbid it ever comes to our shores, we're going to be in for a rude freaking awakening. But isn't you know, war usually stopped? Right? You, yeah. you, never, you never had a bomb go off near your house. You never had your, in the winter, no, no. No electricity for six months, like in Ukraine. We never tasted anything like that. We think it's all a joke. Yeah. And you also think that, like, like the armament manufacturers are the ones that make money, but you think that none of them are sniffing around being like, hey, you guys are, like, low on shells. Do you need some shells made? We make shells. Bro, they you made orders. They and then you say that it, we don't have the manufacturing capability, but then you wouldn't think that somebody would set up another, like, a factory in another country that was even closer. You wouldn't think, right? Think I mean, that, you right? Think, but you'd be so thinking you think, wrong, bro. <laughs> so in Indiana somewhere, or in South Carolina, we need to make bomb factories so we can fly that shit over. Okay. Not just use some other maker that's closer to the theater, right? You want to pay all that air freight to move it over there? I don't know, man. Like, you wouldn't do that. And then you would also have backup plans. Like, people have backup plans, especially militaries. So, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not, I'm not so, trying to, like... Yeah, okay. Oh, you're thinking logically, and I admire you for that, right? But that's not the case, bro. That is not the case. You think the, the military is a smooth-running thing, they're prepared. No, bro, they're giving tampons to freaking male soldiers, bro. You, you're, 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 your war machine you say that. is not what it used to be. you got to accept that. you got to accept that. The morale it? is not there. The weapons are not there. The shells are... It, it, it's not what you think. Your military is not what you think. Yeah. I don't know how true, you know dude. all that. How do you guys know all that? Because I, I listen to colonels, generals talk about it, bro. I follow this stuff. I'm a military. Yeah, but we just went through that. It could be the it could be the thing where they're making us look weak because we're super strong. I don't know, bro. She's my grandfather, but you know, it could be just be. This is a real thing. Hold on, nice one second. This is a real thing that militaries do. It's straight out of Sun Tzu's Art of War. 
look, maybe you're right. Maybe all these guys that I'm listening to are in Our on it, and they're all pushing this uh, <laughs> Sun Tzu thing. You could be right. They only Why would they lie, right? They only have to do. Why would they lie? It's yeah. compartmentalized, right? We know this. If if they look, want, guys, just look at your borders, right? Just look at the border, right? Shouldn't it be that that border should be sealed? You have the army to do it, right? Why isn't it happening? Because of politics, bro, right? The same thing with this, with the weapons, right? You guys got high off the hog, right? You, you you're the superpower. You you know you you feel. You feel secure in that. Then a war breaks out, and we find out that you're no longer this wartime uh, manufacturing. You don't have this capability. You just got to come to terms with it, man. It's as simple well, as I that. I think you're putting too much faith in the propaganda, dude. You need to come to terms with that. Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I'm not too much I'm faith in the propaganda. propaganda or if you're listening to propaganda, thinking that your military is all that. No, I gave but you specifics, right? I gave you, sure. I gave you all that with the woke movement. I gave you ammunition, facts. You I gave you uh, how they can your your aircraft carriers are no longer what they could be. I gave you you can't get your shoulder your soldiers across the Atlantic. Look, I'm giving you facts, and you guys are saying, "Oh, Sun Tzu." Yeah. Who? Uh, SC. The logic is that lunch. you're supposed to protect yourself, protect your borders. I see Montreal is Canadian. Or who is it? Who... And there's a border there that they infiltrated with these power oh, bladders. Oh, wait, this, uh, Ukraine, the Russians are trying to guy, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Border. And then the border in America is just open. And everybody's looking at exactly. these wars. And, uh, you know, even though it's a distraction, you know, what, why is tax, U.S. tax money funding these two wars? And then money laundering through the Ukraine, like Biden and all that stuff. If that's propaganda, I don't know. But it looks funny, you know? When you hear Biden say 80 billion for Ukraine, right? Like 60 billion of that is going to the uh, the, the weapons manufacturer. This chump change, bro. 80 billion. That's, yeah. that's, that's loose change. Yeah, think how many... Uh, homeless they can get rid of in Detroit. Think how many homes they can build and give to people for free. Think about that. I hear you. No, I hear you. Nice love is trying to get in now. Yeah, it's all good. Thank you, Jeremy. But uh, point's been lost. Go ahead. They're not talking a lot about Flat Earth today, though. Oh, or we're the globe. Sorry, bro. But we're, now yeah, we're yeah, talking about fucking armies and shit. Fucking yeah, military yeah, penalties. Yeah, like, um, this is like nation building. But like you build, like we in Afghanistan, we built the Coca Cola factory so we could like ha have a reason to inject money into their society. Like we need to do that because like that that will actually create more opportunities for for business to to occur. Like if you're, do you, do you see what I'm saying? It, it makes more sense to like invest in that place than it does into the bombs because they're like, that's an investment that will go away in an explosion. The investment made in capital, if you like fucking wire a whole bunch of billions you know to somewhere well now they have all kinds of credit lines and all, all kinds of things open up you know even if that money doesn't get burnt up right away that's all i'm saying thanks for letting me talk appreciate it snacks for defense minister you have my vote Sometimes I just have to sit here and listen to what they say, though, to understand what they're saying. Because if I just ignore what they're saying, I can't, I can't respond to what they're saying if I'm over-talking them at the same time. Because there are too many bombs on the shelves, and we can't fit any more bombs in there. So we need to purge that. That's why Vietnam happened. That's why That's why. Yeah, the British see, uh, Carlson Tucker's uh, um, videotape when he went to Russia, and he walked into it's, uh, the uh, Tucker Carlson. in Russia. Yeah, Carlson and Tucker, yeah. yeah. He's got he's, he's a got, Tucker. He's got all these American. He's a Carlson Tucker over there on the shelves. Okay, and there's supposed to be some uh, sanction, like <clears throat> some big dog and pony show, guys. <laughs> you it's not only that, bro. 